Hello students, welcome to the new lecture and good afternoon everyone, good afternoon and uh, today we are going to start with the chapter 2, okay, we are going to start with the chapter 2, okay, cell, the basic unit of life, it means what this chapter is going to explain, this chapter is going to explain about the importance of the cell, okay, how cells are important, how they are made and everything that we are going to discuss in this chapter, so introduction, so introduction means we are going to study we are going to study and know about the few scientists in the introduction after that we will start the new important topics okay so in the first chapter we have discussed about what is science the science topic what the chapter is very very boring why because it is all about hypothesis theories everything so there is not much much to discuss in that but this chapter will be more interesting why because here we have we are going to discuss about the microscopes here we are going to discuss about uh, methods and also staining everything that we are going to discuss uh, in this chapter okay so first one will be the introduction so before in the long long ago so the people did not know about microorganisms so why they did not know about microorganisms so why because in those days there were no microscopes microscopes were not not present in the olden days along with that the people unable to see the microorganisms so why they are unable to see because microscope microorganisms are very very small the word itself says about it micro means very very small organisms means these are living things it means the living things which are very very small they are known as microorganisms okay so they are invisible to the naked eye means to the human beings for our eyes they are invisible naked eye means the eye without help okay we need help to the eye what are the help to the eye microscopes are the help to the eye to see these microorganisms naked eye means without any help to the eye so they are invisible means not visible to us without any microscopes as a result in the olden days these people did not have microscopes so they are they are unable to see the microorganisms okay that is around 300 350 years ago okay so earth uh, earth consists of different types of microorganisms in the earth we will see different types of microorganisms those are so bacteria a type of microorganism viruses okay so viruses next fungi okay plants animals everything so these are so all different types of micro different types of organisms these all microorganisms are going to live together so and each and every organism is made up of cell or cells for example if you take a bacteria the bacteria is made up of only one single cell so if you take a plant the plant are plants are made up of more than many cells more than one cell okay or more than one cell so animals also made up of more than one cell it means even though even though organisms are made up of a single cell that single cell is in living condition okay even though human beings plants animals all are in living condition okay so earth consists of different types of micro or different types of organisms and they are all are made up of cell so here the cell is a basic unit of life or you can call it as cell is a structural functional and basic unit of life okay so here there is a description about a few scientists okay so these all are the scientists and also the their uh, lifetime the, the age of their living is also given okay so again the robert is also one of the scientists so they observed different types of microorganisms under the microscope why because they are scientists they are able to create micro or microscopes and with the help of the microscope they are able to see the microorganisms okay so this is one of the most important uh, discovery in those times in microscope is a one of the great discovery why because with the help of the micro or with the help of the microscopes only we are able to see the microorganisms and the world of microorganisms okay next is the antony van leeuwenhoek so he is a scientist he observed microorganisms and also blood cells okay observed microorganisms in the water okay <clears throat> how he observed he took some drop okay drop of the water kept on the slide okay and observed under a microscope in the water drop he observed different types of microorganisms swimming different types of microorganisms are moving etc so along that along with that he also observed blood cells human blood so or animal blood so he took a drop of the blood kept on the slide okay observed under the microscope okay 
so if you if after observation he found that there are different types of cells in the blood okay so he is the first person to observe microorganisms and also blood cells blood cells this is a this is about antony van leeuwenhoek okay so and also he studied living and also non living things under the microscope so by using magnifying glasses so what is the magnifying glass this is a piece of the glass let us think this is a piece of the glass so this glass is ground means the he made the glass into a magnifying glass so this is the magnifying glass so this magnifying glass is used to observe the small objects so used to observe the small objects so if you observe the small objects through my magnifying glass so it will be visible it will be visible as a larger object okay so it means this magnifying glass is used to observe the small tiny tiny things okay so this uh, magnifying glass were used by the antony van leeuwenhoek to observe the microscopic organisms okay so organisms are made up of uh, single cells okay if the organism is made up of one cell they are known as unicellular let us consider so this is one organism it is has it is made up of only one cell this is known as uni okay uni cellular okay what is unicellular uni means one only one Cell only one cell is present. That is known as unicellular. So next is if the organism is made up of many cells. If the organism is made up of many many cells, that is known as multi. That is known as multicellular. So multi means many. Okay, many many cells. Okay. So or you can call it as a more than one more than one cell. Okay, that is known as multicellular. Okay. and by the way if you have any doubts or questions feel free to post in the comment section and we will discuss your doubts and a question so that you can clear your doubts in this way okay and if you have any doubts do not hesitate to ask ask on the spot okay so the cells organisms are made up of single cells or many cells single cell means unicellular multi cell many cells means multicellular so the cell is a basic and structural unit of life it means this cell is a basic and structural unit of life it is going to provide structure to the organism the cell is going to provide structure to the organism and cell is going to provide functional functional unit okay it is going to provide many many important biological functions for the life of an organism so we are calling the cell as a structural and functional unit of life okay so next one is the cell is the cell with a similar size function and shape are grouped together so if you see in the body there are parts okay part like heart okay liver okay intestine brain etc so it means each and every part if you take the heart heart is made up of only one type of cells they are known as heart cells if you take liver liver is made up of only one type of cells that is liver cells intestine is made up of intestinal cells brain is made up of brain cells so if you take if you observe all heart cells all heart cells are similar they look in this way that they have the same shape same size same function let us consider these are the heart cells okay heart cells if you take the liver cells liver cells may look some other kind of shape different shape okay they are not similar to the heart cells they are different and all liver cells are same all liver cells look similar and all liver cells work for the same function and so on each and every organ is made up of uh, cells those cells are similar in size similar in function similar in shape okay next is the discovery of cell how you can discover the cell okay so how the people discovered the cell so for the first time robert hook he is a scientist in the year 1665 he observed the structure of oak cell okay oak tree so oak is nothing but a tree okay from this tree we are going to make a cork okay so cork so that is used to seal the bottles so he took a small piece of the oak and he sliced it he made a thin slice of the oak tree and also he observed the bark of the oak tree under the microscope so if we after observation he found a beautiful structure he found a beautiful structure that is this this is the structure he found under the microscope he observed empty cavities in the under the microscope 
in the bark of the oak tree he observed a small empty cavities so here you can see the empty cavities the empty cavities are present in this okay empty cavities are present in it so these empty cavities are looking like honeycomb they are looking like honeycomb and he called them as cells in their language in their latin language the little rooms cells means little rooms in the latin language okay so by this way for the first time robert hook observed the observed the bark of a oak under the microscope okay and he named them as cells okay why the cells are empty why because the bark is already dead okay so dead bark has a dead cells so if the cell is dead the cell will look like empty so he found the empty cells okay next is the observation of cells in a matchstick so nowadays now you may not find the bark okay bark of the oak tree so instead of trying the bark tree you can find the matchstick and also you can observe the matchstick even the matchstick is also dead okay matchstick also containing the dead cells so our aim is to observe is to observe the cells in the matchstick so materials what materials we need we need matchstick okay we need water scalpel slide cover slip and also microscope brush okay so we need microscope and also a brush these are the things that we are needed that we need so procedure the first procedure is soak a matchstick we have to take the matchstick and we have to soak it in the water for 30 minutes after 30 minutes take out the matchstick so this is a matchstick and take out it and cut it cut into small slices okay this is a slice a small size slice of a matchstick so we have to take the match this slice and also put it on the slide take a slide on the slide put a matchstick okay a slice of a matchstick with the help of a brush okay so then up then put a drop of water put a drop of water and cover it with a cover slip so then take this slide and keep under the microscope keep under the microscope and observe if you observe the micro under the microscope you will see beautiful structure and make sure while observing under the microscope make sure that there is no air bubbles air bubbles should not present under the cover slip okay so that is the main important thing so under observation under observation what you can see you can see the empty cells okay empty cells are observed okay so the cells are empty these are not living those, those cells are dead okay so the empty cells are observed under the microscope here you can see and make sure that draw the diagram while you are observing draw the diagram by looking into the microscope and compare compare the diagram of yours diagram of yours with cork okay cork cell diagram so compare both so you will see some differences between these two okay so observation is over what you have found in the observation empty cells are observed under the microscope so the result is the cells in matchstick are observed that is also live, that is also dead cells in the matchstick are observed under the microscope okay this is over and now next one will be the observation of onion peel so in the onion peel we are going to observe some cells so for the first for to do this activity we need onion bulb so with the help of a uh, we have to observe the onion peel so what materials we need we need onion peel so water slide cover slide cover slip microscope and also scalpel these are the things that we need so take a onion bulb with the help of a scalpel scalpel is nothing but a blade okay with the help of a blade so cut it cut the onion bulb take a small piece you can see you can take small piece like this and with the help of your fingers bend it bend and break the that small onion piece okay the you can see a small thin membrane okay the thin membrane will be seen in here okay take that membrane and also put it in the water so now take a small cut take a small uh, cut a small portion of that thin thin transparent membrane and keep it on the slide okay this is slide so put the small membrane small membrane of a onion peel then put a water drop after putting a water drop cover it with a cover slip okay cover it with a cover slip and observe try to observe under the microscope so if you observe under the microscope what you can see and we have to make sure that there is no air bubbles under the cover slip 
so if you observe under the microscope you can see transparent cells you can see transparent cells that is also living in condition okay previously in a matchstick in a matchstick what you observe you observe dead cells okay dead and empty cells okay but in case of onion peel okay in case of onion peel what you can see we can see the living cells you can see living cells okay so this is about observation the transparent cells are observed under the observed under the microscope so the result is the cells of onion peel are observed this is your observation and also result so you can see here so this is a slide so under the slide under this is a microscopic vision so this is this, you can see this you can see under the microscope if you want to draw you can draw in this way okay you can draw in this way and also you can observe with a matchstick okay the cells that you have drawn on the previous activity the cells you can observe with them so up to now we have come we have discussed about the plant cells only now we have to discuss about the animal cells so how we have to discuss the animal cells how you can observe the animal cells that is simple so do the activity first uh, our experiment is observation of human cheek cells this is activity 3 it is there in your textbook so our aim is to observe the human cheek cells what is meant by cheek inside your mouth okay inside the inside of your cheek there is a, a layer of cells okay those cells are known as cheek cells okay inside the mouth so what materials we need we need human cheek cells slide cover slip spoon water okay these are the things that we need so in the procedure wash your mouth wash your mouth then take a spoon uh, and also scrape the inner side of the cheek okay before doing the experiment we have to you have to wash your mouth then take a spoon and also with the help of the spoon with the help of the spoon scrape inner side of the cheek smoothly so if you do this you will obtain a cheek cells you will obtain cheek cells and now take the cheek cells and place it on the slide okay place the tissue okay tissue on the slide what is the difference between the cells and a tissue so this is a cell okay so the cells if the cells are many if the cells are arranged okay if the cells are arranged in this way this is a tissue you can call it as a tissue is the group of cells okay group of cells is known as tissue so here we have to take the tissue and place it on the slide okay then add a drop of water and cover it with the cover slip and again make sure that there is no air bubbles present between the cover slip between the cover slip and also slide so this is a slide between the cover slip and the slide there is a there are small tissue okay so there should be no air bubbles okay so now you have to observe under the microscope and after observation of the under the microscope you have to draw the diagram if you draw the draw the diagram and also compare the cells of onion peel and also cheek cells okay so now you can observe clearly so observation your observation observation will be transparent cells okay you can observe transparent cells under the microscope and you can you can draw the diagram draw the diagram what you observe under the microscope and compare with the we compare with the onion cells okay with the compare with the onion cells okay so cheek cells okay cheek cells and also uh, oak tree okay cells of the oak tree so compare your onion onion cells or you compare your cheek cells with onion cells and also oak cell, uh, oak oak tree cells so you can understand what are the differences between them and uh, result is human cheek cells are observed under the microscope so this is a microscopic vision so this is the microscope uh, diagram which is visible under the microscope and this is the diagram that you can draw okay so or you can simply observe under the observe in the microscope and also draw the diagram so this is about it and if you have any doubts or questions feel free to post in the comment section or in the live chat section okay and while drawing the diagrams in the in your notebook do not draw okay do not draw this diagram okay what diagram you have to draw you have to draw only this diagram okay draw this diagram and after drawing this diagram go to the next and also draw only this diagram okay draw only this diagram only one side so do not draw the left side diagram only right side diagram so again here also you don't have to draw this okay you don't have to draw this why because it is a little bit far tough to draw so you don't have to draw 
so next and also you don't have to draw this do not draw okay do not draw this diagram also okay so these are the things that you have to uh, write and draw so draw write all points if you find a little bit difficult so remove this remove these points you don't have to write these points okay you don't have to draw these points uh, you don't have to you don't have to write these points okay so this is about your notes and also drawings that you have to draw in your notebook okay and if you have any doubts or questions you can ask now so no manik sir manik sir you don't have to write all okay just now i said no you have to remove some points okay so just now i have shown you know these you don't have to write these points okay and we will discuss the next topic tomorrow